Well, eliminating taxpayer waste, fraud, and abuse, that's a phrase that we've heard so many times from politicians. Yeah, but when one Massachusetts man reported a problem, he couldn't get anyone to listen until he called the I-Team. The I-Team's Ryan Kapp takes a closer look at what finally happened. The mysterious mail started arriving at Steve Gaynor's home late last year. And I started going, wait a minute, this is wrong. Letters to a stranger, all coming from state agencies that provide welfare benefits to those in need. Gaynor received the person's statements from health care providers, even a couple of checks from the government. And that's when I started calling the fraud hotline, uh, which, I'm sorry, is a joke. Month after month, he made call after call, and the mail just kept coming to the home he'd owned for the past seven years. Gaynor said nobody wanted to hear any details. They wanted to get me off the phone just as fast as absolutely possible. That's when he contacted the IT. Hey, Ryan Kath with WBZ. And we tracked down the intended recipient to get an explanation in Rhode Island. We're trying to figure out why you're trying to get benefits in Massachusetts if you live in Rhode Island. That I'm trying to get benefits? He wasn't offering any answers, but we found these court documents proving the man, who we aren't identifying, has been living out of state more than three years. Just last spring, this statement shows Massachusetts taxpayers picked up the tab for one of his dental visits. Because of privacy issues, the state refused to reveal what went wrong with this case. But they told us they do follow strict guidelines to confirm the addresses of everyone who gets benefits and added they do take every call to the fraud hotline seriously. It is the sort of thing that kind of undermines the confidence people have in their government. Representative Paul Haro intervened after getting a call from Gaynor. Oh, he was just exasperated. And the mail has now finally stopped. But with millions in fraud and waste identified every year, the lawmakers wonder why his constituents' concerns fell on deaf ears. Why was nothing done? You know, why did this continue even when he called the fraud hotline? I mean, it's just, that's a problem. It's got to be hard to put your faith in the system. <laughs> yeah. After this, uh, really hard. As, as a taxpayer, this is my money. And as a citizen, I can't get the government to care. And here's what's ironic. When the state did finally follow up with Gaynor, they asked him to send in documentation like a utility bill, proving he actually lived at the address. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.